Let's look at points of inflection. What is a point of inflection? Continuous function is a point of inflection where the concavity of its graph switches from upward to downward or from downward to upward. An easy way to identify points of inflection, if we have a point C and F of C, this is a point of inflection provided the second derivative equals zero or the second derivative does not exist. More specifically, y equals x to the fourth minus 18x squared plus one. Let's identify the points of inflection and its concavity. So if we take the first derivative, we get 4x cubed minus 36x. Take the second derivative, 12x squared minus 36. Set this equal to zero. 12x squared equals 36. x squared equals three. So x equals both plus and minus the square root of 3. It's about 1.732. Now in our graph here, 1.732 would probably be somewhere around here or somewhere around here. So there are the x values where we have points of inflection. x equal to both plus and minus the square root of 3. Now, if we continue by looking at its concavity, when would 12x squared minus 36, the second derivative, be greater than 0? Remember, before we analyzed negative the square root of 3, positive the square root of 3. These are different values for x. So we have three regions. If x is less than negative the square root of 3, say negative 2, what would the sign here be if we put negative 2 in for x? Negative 2 squared is 4. 4 times 12, it's greater, so this would be positive. Let's suppose we pick a value like 0, then the concavity would be negative, and then the concavity would be positive. So let's see if we can sketch a graph. Now the green dots indicate the points that are in here. So notice that the graph is spilling water till we get to here. It's spilling water till we get to positive the square root of 3. So that's negative concavity, spilling water. Now notice that because x equal to positive the square root of 3 is a point of inflection, the curve now starts to hold water. In the same way over here, begins to hold water. Looking at the points of inflection.